Hello guys, peace of the Lord with everyone. Uh, now I want to talk about abrogation in the Quran. You know, by the way, abrogation is a huge topic I need to make like 2,000 videos about. But this is just an example, just to give you an idea as a start, what abrogation in Islam is. You know, Islam is the God, the God of Islam is a God who is his drunk. He says something and he changes his mind after five minutes even. And he promised people things, but he never do his promise. Why? Because he's a liar. And this is my proof. The God of Islam, he is asking Muslims, you know, the God of Islam is very, you know, Islam, Islam is peace, right? And Allah is peaceful God. This is why he's saying, O Prophet, rose the believers to fight. Man, he don't want them to be peaceful. He want them to go and kill. Go and attack them. Okay. If there is 20 amongst you, patient and preserving, they will vanquish 200. Be careful in here. 20, they will kill 200. You see how Allah is encouraging them? He is using extreme promises. You know what? Don't hesitate. Just go and kill them. 20 of you will kill 200. Okay. Well, and if 100 from you, you Muslims, they will vanquish a thousands of the unbelievers. Those people who don't understand, the unbelievers, you know, they are, they are stupid. So go and kill them. 20 of you will kill and they will fight and they will win and they will make victory against 200. You see it? And 100 of you, they will win against 1,000, which means 1 to 10. One man to ten men, he will have the victory. Now, listen carefully what happened. Those guys, they went to the fight and they got beating. Their ass kicked out. They lost. Even if a Muslim will say to me, no, 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 they did not lose. But Allah, he enlightened their task. You know what? Even, let me show you. <laughs> if God, he say to me, one, not 100, one will win against one thousands that's it god he do not ch change his word one of you will win against ten that's it a god is not a kid who keep changing his word every five seconds if he say one against ten he will win that's it one against ten will win always i have a weakness i don't have a weakness no why because allah supposedly he knew my weakness now look what happened in the second verse the same day allah he sent another verse why? Because Muslims, they went to war, they came back, they lost. They are crying, Prophet, you told us we will win. You told us, you know, 100 can fight 1,000. What happened? Allah, where is Allah? You know? So he told them right away to cover his ass. He said, for the present. Uh-huh. For the present. You know, be careful, guys. For the present. Now. Up to date. You know? Allah had enlightened your task. For he knew that there is a weak spot in you. Guys, when Allah he gave them this order, the first one, about 100 will fight 1,000. He don't know that they have a weak spot. So Allah is correcting his order. Is the new spot, is something new? Is the weakness, is new? No, because you will see in here, he is saying exactly the same. Patient, 100 of you, with patient and the preserving, they will vanquish 200. There, 20 of you, with patient and, you know, preserving, they will vanquish 200. So, both, both verses, they are asking for patient and preserving. So, what the difference? Where is the weakness spot? So, this is mean. Allah he found out that weakness spot is exists in them later he don't know about it so this is why he is enlightening their task because if he knew he will give the order the second verse not the first verse because the first verse doesn't work and there is no need to it you know what I mean because it's wrong because those people they cannot make it so why Allah he give it and later he changed his mind 
because Muhammad he is making up surahs and making up verses he just want to encourage those stupid Bedouin to go and fight for him and die for him and whatever happened to him who, who give a damn even this is why when they came they told him you know what you promised us your God Allah promised us but this is not true your God Allah is a liar so he have to cover his ass by making this verse and this is called abrogation Allah he keep changing his mind every few moments and by the way one verse in the Quran abrogated hundreds of verses in the Quran like you know Muslims you might see Muslims saying to you about Surat Al-Kafirun like the one it says no compulsion in Islam you have your religion I have I have mine we hear always Muslims repeating this verse the surah from the Quran this is Al-Kafirun surah this one is abrogated by verse surah 9 verse 29 that verse alone abrogated more than 120 verse imagine 120 verse abrogated just by one verse in the Quran this is what it's called abrogation so when you see Muslims reading for you a verse from the Quran it sounds nice you know remember that there is abrogation all the verses about being nice to Christians being nice to Jew being nice to anyone this is when Muhammad he was weak he don't have army he was trying to lie to them you know like the Muslims now in America or in the West they show you the, 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 the soft skin because they cannot bite you right now but one day if they get the teeth to bite you as they did in Cyprus as they did in Bosnia as in, they did in Lebanon as they did in Shishenia wherever they go you know they will show you their teeth so Muhammad he was weak he is not the controller he is not the governor he is not the one who have army and swords so in the beginning he was trying to look like a nice guy you know what you have your religion I have mine okay fine so he is not enforcing people but after he got army you know what go and fight them and kill them wherever you find them so what happened to the verse that says you have your religion I have mine what happened to the one that says no compulsion no enforcement in Islam oh that one when he was weak he don't need it anymore this is called abrogation abrogation so abrogation in the Quran Muhammad he used it to cover his lies always the purpose of abrogation is to cover his lies secondly to fix his mistakes in orders he gave as he claimed that they are coming from God as this one promises of lies 20 of you will win against 200 and you will see the difference between 20 will fight 200 and 100 will fight 200 do you know what is the difference it's a huge so I gave you an idea about abrogation I hope you you learned about that we will show you a lot of verses abrogated in Islam so always don't trust Muslims showing to you verses from the Quran about you know some verses they look nice uh, like you know uh, 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 we need to make difference there, there's Quran came to Muhammad in Medina and Quran came to Muhammad in Mecca uh, when Muhammad he was weak in Mecca you know he is under the control of the non-believers he have to be nice to them so he did not mention one word about killing them torturing them insulting them no he was acting like a chicken until he got his army so always remember that so when he started having his own men to fight for him and to kill for him and he got to have his own soldiers then we saw the real face of Muhammad the one is nice is not there anymore you know forget about all days I am the one who is his hand is upper than you this is why in the Quran the Quran says so this is why he said in his surah 47 verse number 35 don't ever cry for peace and don't hate you know don't stop with your hate for peace as long you are the uppermost so you have to hate peace don't ever cry for peace as long you are what you are the uppermost I think this will give you an idea so a Muslim man Muhammad if he is not the uppermost then he will cry for peace he will say I am a peaceful man I don't want a war we are peaceful Islam is peace but if he is the uppermost he will say to you now what 
Death is coming. We want to kill you. We want to torture you. Either you convert to Islam or you are dead. So if you are the uppermost, don't ever love peace or cry for peace. You cry for peace temporarily if you are not the uppermost until you get ready. Peace of the Lord with everyone. As you see, Islam is a religion of hate. Hate peace, hate love, hate everything is good in our life. It's satanic religion as you see. God bless you. Jesus is Lord. Amen.